Okay, so I'm going to try to finish this, uh, the part two of the unboxing. This is like take 35 or something like that. Um, the answer is yes. You can get tired of opening up brand new golf clubs. Um, this part of the show I'm going to call the tailor-made part of the show. Um, so uh, let's get started. So here we should have, I believe, a set of tailor-made M5 irons. Um, yes, these are tailor-made M5 irons. Uh, they're actually facing the wrong way. They're left-handed. Um, <clears throat> they have the XP100 shafts in the stiff and the Golf Pride um, pull level grips. Uh, this set comes in four through gap wedge. So tailor-made M5s, four through gap, true temper XP 100 stiff shafts, left-handed. Because during the sweep, you always have to have a left-handed set and a lady set. Next is another set of tailor-mades, I believe. These are the M6s. Um, once again, uh, four through gap wedge. TaylorMade does a great job with um, packaging, by the way. Uh, let me show it to you right quick. So as you can see, they have the expanded foam, the grips, uh, the shafts individually um, uh, secured, and into the heads. Okay. So. So we should have a set of M6s here, and we do, these are facing the right way. Uh, once again, the M5s and M6s have this connecting piece called the speed bridge between the top line and the bottom of the club. They also have this field section in here and an insert, which I'm assuming is to lower the center of gravity. Um, Tailmade irons also have this fluted hosel, which I'm not sure what that's for, maybe it adds about 10,000 yards or something like that. Uh, this set has happens to have the KBS Max shafts, 85 grams in a regular, and it has the uh, black with the red white trim Lampkin grips. So uh, set of M6s in four through gap with the um, KBS Max 85 shafts in regular. Finally, let's say tailor mates. Um, these were amazing when I opened up the box, and I'm still kind of wowed by them to tell you the truth. These might be one of the best looking irons I've seen in a long time. Once again, we still got the M6s here, but this time they have the black Fujikur Atmos uh, graphite shafts. So you see that black shaft all the way down. The Atmos, you can tell with the design at the top. And then the black Lampkin grips, red and white trim into the red and white M6s. Um, these are four through gap. The shafts are uh, regular flex. And I tell you, just uh, overall, this is a great set of irons, great looking set of irons. So I happened to get lucky and get a set of M6s in the graphite and in um, steel and then I got a set of M5s in steel but they are left handed. Right. The boxes really easy to uh, pick out are the Mizuno. The Mizuno comes in this blue color um, also known as Canadan blue. So this set here happens to be the JPX 919 hot metals. Five through gap. Uh, Mizuno also does a really good job of um, shipping their irons. You see the foam. This one's got the bubble wrapping and into the foam that way. Also, you see this it says register your new product at MizunoGolf.com forward slash register. Okay. So this, once again, is a set of hot metals, five through gap wedge. Uh, I really like the JPX 919 line. 
Um, I demoed these back when they first come out in September, and um, I really liked them. I really liked the tours especially, and the way they felt um, was amazing. Um, this set here, the 5 foot gap wedge, actually has the Nifine Modus um, shaft in the 105 stiff, okay? And they happen to have the MCC plus four grade grips on them. This plus four grip, I've never had them before, but these are pretty nice. I like it a lot, actually. Um, I hit these back in September, all three, and the pros were not available at the time. And I really like the tours the best, but the hot metals were um, very surprising. The amount of explosiveness off the face uh, of the club was impressive. I was really considering going to like a uh, six through pitch wedge in the tours and maybe a four and five in the hot metals if I could do that. If I could get the gapping right because the loft on the hot metals are a little bit more um, uh, stronger than the tours. The forged, I truly, I didn't care much for, but um, I did like the hot metals and I did like the tours. And so, you know, a month ago, or maybe two months at this point, when Mizuno decided to bring out the hot metal pros, I was really excited because it seemed like a good combination between the blade size and offset of the tours and the explosiveness of the hot metals. So I happened to get lucky and I got a set of JPX 919 hot metals four through gap. Um, these, these irons, the uh, blade size are just a touch smaller than the hot metals. Um, the offset is uh, definitely less. These have the same grips, the MCC plus fours, but they also have the KBS C taper lights in a uh, 110 stiff. I didn't, I've tried the KBS Tours, uh, Tour V, and I did not care much for them when I demoed the um, Ben Hogan Clubs, but as far as shafts, this um, uh, pearl finish or this satin finish on the shaft is very nice. It goes great with the uh, hot metal line. So um, JPX 919 hot metals, four through gap, with the KBS Tour C taper lights, 110 stiff. Um, I was really hoping to get a set of hot metal pros and I happened to grab them, which is great because in 60 seconds you have a choice of you can be, um, you can go for quantity or you can go for uh, quality. You know, you, you can try to find what you're really looking for or you just take what you get and hope for the best. And then a lot of people have been wondering what was it that I ran two aisles over to get right before the um, time ran out. This set right here is what I went after. I saw it when the semi-final run was over. I was standing beside Ryan Liberty as, as, as they were counting. So um, I was looking for him, and when we walked back into the um, warehouse that day for the final run, I, I saw that they were still there. I was trying to decide if I want to go down the aisle again. I did notice that some things had changed. I did not see the Titleist AP uh, two black irons uh, anymore, but I did see a lot of Shrixon irons, and I saw that these were still there. Um, when I was down that aisle and there was 10 seconds left, a lot of the boxes started looking the same, so I thought, well, I didn't want to get another duplicate because I got one already, so if I was going to try it, might as well try it now, and it happened to work out for me. I have a set of uh, Ping I-500s in the four through pitching wedge, Painting ship says with these little um, booties on them, and this is what they look like right there. It's the Ping I-500 irons forged. It's got that satin finish. 